Jen, do you want any Mickey t-shirts? Jen, do you want any Mickey t-shirts? Wow, there's a big assortment. I'm curious. Here's a, an official, it actually has Disney on it. So this is an official Disney t-shirt for $15.99. My guess is that <laughs> that shirt, just two hours southwest of us, is probably 30 bucks or 40 bucks. That shirt right there. What do you think? 30 or 40 dollars? I'm gonna say $9.99. No, no, here it's $15.99 at Disney. Oh, 30. 30? Yeah, okay, so I have yeah. price here. Hysterical. That's kind of cute. For $10.99. There's a Mickey toothpick holder for $5.99. That's cute. She's got a few other toothpick holders. Oh, here's a crumpy one. Get off my case. Yeah, exactly. And here's even more Disney t-shirts. They had a lot of Disney t-shirts here. And a lot of different sizes. So as we go down this way, there are more kid sizes. Heck, man, if you need some good Disney souvenirs and merch, just drive two hours away. You got a lot of choices. But if you are shopping here, you want to be careful. Gator is uh, looking kind of hungry. Yikes. Yikes. And looks like I found the live gators. Oh yeah. They're real gators. They're not as big as that gator, but there oh, are gators. We found the baby gators. I found look at this one. That one's pretty, uh, well, it was just a second ago, moving around a bit. But, Jen, just in case if you were wondering, the gators are not for sale. So, check out what we just found, Jen. Take a look. It's our favorite wine. So this is from the Florida Groves, the Florida Orange Groves Winery that we just went to in St. Pete, Pasadena. Yes. So they did say that. Uh, you guys have any questions on the wines? Oh no, no we, we actually, actually were just there. Have it in, oh, it's great. Phenomenal. in St. Pete it's at Pasadena, stuff. and I know that they do sell it at different yeah, places yeah. around the state. So but St. Pete's where the winery is. Yes, yeah, three yeah. generation yeah. family winery. Yep. Yes, yeah. it we is. It is phenomenal. Just there and did a taste testing in October. Oh, cool. Yeah, Good. yeah. We we live outside of Chicago, but we have family in St. Pete, so we come down all the time. So we're actually. Vince and his family are great people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. It was really it was nice. this yes. the flamingo fling. This is the port that I yes, that I got that chocolate is. raspberry port. That is. This was excellent. And we've had the key and the key lime, and we like that. That was excellent. Um, I don't think we tried that one. I don't, yeah. Oh. It's awesome. It's better than the flamingo. Really? Okay. Well, why not? So there's more of the wine. We have. The wine holders here. We got a couple of flamingos and a parrot. Oh yeah, just really kind of funny. And then check out more Disney T-shirts. This is awesome. I'm grumpy. Don't make it worse. I say that to Jen all the time. <laughs> I don't do matching shirts. That's funny too. Laughing, angry, surprised, disappointed, happy, perplexed, confident, sleepy, and scared. Basically, those are nine of the most consistent emotions that one has at Disney on every trip.
Well, and here's the crew. All right, so they call this place the Nut House, and you can see why. Butter toffee, sriracha, red skin peanuts, Cajun peanuts. And then you go up to the pecans. We got praline. That's what we just bought. Roasted and salted cinnamon, butter toffee, white praline, honey toasted, got some chocolate here, dark, white, milk, and then just non-flavored regular pecans, including granules, large pieces, oof, and then you've got them in the shell here too. And this is a place to come for pecans. We've got some natural peanut butter, peach butter. Oh, I got some good stuff here. Some really good stuff. You just never know what you're going to find when you get off the highway and stop. Well, that was unexpected and cool. Well, sometimes it's nice to step outside your comfort zone and try something new. So we saw the citrus, what is it called? The Well, this is the nut house. This is the nut house. Well, we did the citrus house and the nut house and OMG, we got our key lime wine. So we were saying in the store, this is from the Florida Orange Groves Winery, which is the one that we uh, stopped at, did the taste testing back in October. That's in St. Pete, uh, Pasadena. Um, and we will link that video in the description down we below. We sure will. Because that's what we do now. Um, and uh, so it's interesting because they actually do sell the wine at different locations throughout the state. And this is obviously one of them. And then we ended up getting some treats. So we got the praline. So these are the um, praline, praline pecans. pecans. So, and I went pecans. through and I showed all the different flavors and the different kinds that they have over there. So yeah, it was kind of cool. You just, we got off the highway and after uh, traffic through Orlando was kind of horrific and um, uh, there was an accident as well. So it took us a while to get here, but it was nice to actually take a break, get off it the was. road and stretch our legs for a couple of minutes. Not that we have that much further to go, but. No, but still, it was nice to stretch our legs. It was nice to try something new. So when you're traveling, don't be afraid to stop off at some of these little places because you never know what you're going to find. You might find the largest ball of yarn or you, you might. might find a house of mud or you whatever. <laughs> I mean, there is actually in Southern Illinois, there is in a town called Sparta, they have a Popeye museum for, you know, the cartoon character like Popeye the Sailor Man. this is Sparta? No, oh. it's not that kind of Sparta. Oh. It's just Sparta, Illinois, but they do have a Popeye museum. I think that was in Sparta of them. I'm almost positive. That was a long time ago. But I know for certain in Metropolis, Illinois, they have a Superman museum. They do. And a Superman statue. They do. You like that Superman statue, I didn't you, do. Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> I might actually, just have that because. Picture? Oh, I do have that picture. I might actually post that picture just so you could see um, how much Jennifer liked the <laughs> Superman statue. It's a long this time ago. It goes kids. back a few years. But anyway, so. Um, all right, just, yeah, kind of an unexpected surprise here. And, I know. Oh, the other thing, the t-shirts, they had, between that one and this one, they had all sorts of Disney t-shirts, and they were, I think, I mean... fifteen nine and 9 But here it says 3 for $10, so they I don't know did. if there were different t-shirts that were 3 for $10. I think the 3 for 10 are the ones here on the racks. Okay, so the, the non-Disney ones. Yes. But honest to God, Disney would charge twice, if not three times, the price for some of the t-shirts here. Just depends if you want your... Disney t-shirt from Disney or a roadside stand? But it's an official Disney t-shirt. It actually says I Disney on really it. I don't really know how official that is. It says Disney yeah, on the inside. It says Disney. Just like when you find those bags in New York, just because it says Burberry doesn't mean it's really Burberry. I don't know. I just mean, it says it. Disney. Would it really make a difference? Yes. What you get here and what you get there? Yes. No, nah, I don't think it does. They're all still made in the same place, wherever they're made from. I don't know, but it's not here in Florida. Um, all right. So I guess that's it. A nice that little was break. Fun. That was kind of cool.
So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of Jen and Go really on the go because we really are. Jen and who? Jen and Joe. And you said Jen and Go. <laughs> no, Jen and Joe, we're on the go. We're really on the go these days. We're <laughs> going. We're go, 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 going. I thought you were going to say Jen and Goey on the goey. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Ah, we need to break open the wine. It's been too many, too many hours between drinks. We need to get that thing open soon. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.